So, do you think politicians have a good relationship with young people? There's an awful lot more work to be done to make young people feel engaged with politics. And, yeah, there's this myth that young people are completely apathetic about politics. Why should young people vote? Politics affects virtually everything that happens in your daily life, whether it's your you know, chance to get employment, the sort of education you have, the health services that your, your family has, um, the transport systems. There's, there's virtually nothing in your daily lives that isn't affected by political decision making. And Following on from that, um, Lorna has a question. Young people may feel as though they're negatively labelled by police. Are there any schemes in place to ensure that there's no discrimination within the police force that are actually important? Well, I think with the new neighbourhood policing model that the government introduced, which is meant to be much more about having police actually in the community that know the community really well, that um, local residents can put a, a name and a face to them. I think that's one way of trying to break that down. I mean, certainly the police in my area. What um, is there to get excited about in politics? <laughs> that's a, a tricky question because the, those of us who are political obsessives tend to get excited about the, the most obscure and uh, other people sort of incredibly dull things. But I mean, you know, if, if you look at some of the things that are on the political agenda at the moment, I mean, there's a general election coming up, and um, obviously, whoever wins that general election, the, the outcome of it could make a fundamental difference to people's lives. In terms like needs, politicians seem to be segregating young people and using this as a way of winning votes from older voters. Do you agree or disagree with this thing? I'd actually disagree with that because um, I think it perhaps may be one of those terms that has, as time has gone on, become a pejorative term that something is, you know, it's something that's used as a way of criticising and labelling them. Okay. Give us some positive news about young people. And actually, you know, when I go around schools now, I'm absolutely amazed. Uh, you even get, you know, kids as young as six and seven year old sitting on computers finding things out for themselves instead of being spoon fed. And then there's just so much. I mean, there's, there's one school that set up um, an anti-bullying mentor scheme where some of the pupils would sort of befriend other pupils that were um, being bullied or in danger of being bullied, but also actually took it upon themselves to talk to some of those that were doing the bullying. With Britain being seen largely on the world platform as a digital dinosaur, um, in 2012 we're welcoming the world to our doorstep with the London Games. Do you think our digital infrastructure will be ready or are we going to look like complete idiots? Well, it's, it's happening and the digital rollout has already started and the idea is that it should be on track for 2012. I think it's just one of those, you know, the, the whole sort of move towards using new media and new technology is something that, you know, you look back 10 years and um, I can still remember when we had typewriters in the office. And okay, define the word problem. It's something that I suppose needs a solution. Something that, where something has gone wrong, where you've identified something that needs to be fixed or whatever. My favourite quote ever was um, Malcolm X said, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And I think that is incredibly relevant in terms of young people in particular, and people who don't vote, and people who just sort of feel that everything else is somebody else's problem. It's like, you know, the sort of people who sit in the pub complaining about things. And, um, you know, I, 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 yeah, I turn it on its head and say, yeah, it's something that needs a solution. There aren't any jobs around and there's no actual help to find work experience. What do you propose to do about this? How do people get experience without obtaining experience and not being able to get their foot in the door? The difficulty is, if you're going to be an intern, you've got to be prepared to work unpaid for a few months or so. And there's a lot of unpaid internships in, in, in broadcasting and in, in media and things like advertising or whatever. And I'm very concerned that that means that the door is only open to young people whose parents are prepared to support them. Have you seen the state of London's roads? Have you ever cycled in London? I think people who cycle in London are very brave and I think we need to do more to sort of make it easier for pe people to, yeah, I, I would walk rather than cycle. Okay. And if you could ask a politician one question, what would it be? Oh wow, because I get, I get to ask politicians questions uh, quite a lot. At the moment actually, because I, I do, um, as a Labour, I'm, I'm the spokesperson for um, 
all the new media stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm trying to get Gordon Brown to do an interview on Twitter. So that was, and I was at a meeting with him yesterday, and we were talking about very serious issues, or women's issues for the next manifesto. And everyone was talking about, you know, care for the elderly, and need to pay for women, and childcare vouchers and things. And um, I thought in that context, I probably shouldn't be saying, oh, can you do an interview on Twitter? But uh, next time, next time, you know, it just seems slightly trivial. But I just think, you know, that, that sort of politicians finding new ways to engage with people and actually making themselves accessible is really important. Have you got any final thoughts? I mean, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. It's far more difficult actually being in government than it is being in opposition. Because when you're in opposition, you just have to complain about things and campaign against things. Um, where you're in government, you have to make tough choices. But um, I suppose, you know, if, if I had to say the things that sometimes get you down, obviously the lack of esteem in which politicians are held, um, it is sort of profoundly depressing and to some extent um, we're responsible for that.